Hey YouTube, it's SJ and I'm back with another sneaker unboxing. It feels like it's been a while, but I am back with another blazer. It's been a while since I've had a pair. Though that's a lie actually, isn't it really? But it feels like a long time. It feels like a long time. Indulge me people, indulge me. Right, I'm gonna pull for fresh just about now. So we're going to come over here to this camera. These are a Nike SB Zoom Blazer Mid Pro GT Quick Stripe. They are a UK six and a half, gone up half size again, which makes them a US men's seven and a half, women's nine, which makes them a European 40.5. These in the color are called Trails End Brown Black. Oh yeah, we're gonna take this back to the middle camera. I'm just gonna show you. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Stripey box, stripey box, right. Let's get to it. It does feel like ages since I've unboxed them, I think. I know it hasn't been, which is kind of crazy, but you know, oh, 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 people. Lots of rustling. Mr. B's hating all that rustling behind the camera. He's telling me off. Wow. Okay, people. So these are. Can we see that? We might need to switch the lights up a little. So these. Oh, there you go. Look at that. So these, as I said, they're a Nike SB Blazer, GT, Grant Taylor. And they are inspired by the ACG colorway that Tinker Hatfield first put on a sneaker, I can't remember which one, way back in the day. And Nike have obviously played with those colorways ever since, because they're great colorways, the brown, the orange, and the purple. And they just look so good on this blazer. And obviously there's the ACG inspired uh, dunk earlier in the year. So it's good to actually get a blazer. Now let's have a look at these, because these are super nice. So the leather, I'm just gonna bring this back in on the toe box. It's like that Nubuck leather, uh, Nubuck suede leather, I'm gonna say. Then I'm just gonna flip it around here. Here you've got a canvas and a swoosh feels like, um, I think it's Nubuck leather. It's really, really soft. Or is it like rubberized? That's really hard to tell. It's really, it's really hard to tell when you sniff it as well. I can't, I think that's actually rubberized, the swoosh. There you go. See, the swoosh there. Then on the back, this lovely purple. I'm really into purple at the moment. Uh, you've got Nike and this really nice satin material. Then this sort of rubberized... You got, sorry, you've got the satin material on the purple. Then you've got Nike in the sort of rubberized orange. Then you've got on the midsole is looks extra chunky uh, i know a blazer sole is always chunkier than a normal one but you've kind of got it's not but it kind of looks like the crater finish that they're pulling on their um their recycled sneakers at the moment i'm hoping there you go you can see that really really nicely there and in fact i'm just going to flick that around so that this camera's picking up because this camera can pick this up then at the front you've got on the tongue in that really nice purple satin then at the top on the tab the tongue tab instead of saying ACG it says GTP so Grant Taylor Pro and then you've got Nike SB as well it's really really nice and that's really nice leather on that tongue tab I'm just going to bring that in there so you can see that come on there we go Nice orange contrast against a really nice brown leather. And that is really nice leather. That's that's almost like the leather um, that they use on the Oski on the inside. It's that soft. And then I'm just going to take the inside out. Nothing particularly exciting on the inside. It's just a Zoom Air Nike SB sole. And then they're quite, they're not like overly padded like some nike sbs are around the heel but they are definitely padded and uh i don't know if you can see it i'm just gonna flip that so you can see that they're not like really really padded like a normal sb is 
but they're really nice nice colorway it just works as a colorway it's a really nice winter looking blazer you know i know it may not be the most practical um winter blazer with the the mix of materials but it is super super nice and the laces as well they're kind of like they, these are sort of a mashup between a skateboarding blazer and like a hiking blazer with how they look and if you look at the laces you can see they're like rope laces um I can't, i've got another pair of blazers that have laces like this i think the oski blazers do actually from memory this sort of rope effect nothing on the aglets though but super super nice and then on the eyelets around the uh around the laces at the top you can just see when it goes into focus there you go it's got a purple bit as well just to finish them off just really nice little touches like that just sort of make a make the sneaker but they're nice super nice i'm just going to look at the other one i think they're both I don't think there's anything different on any of them, no. Both exactly the same. A few glue marks. Oh, yeah, just pulled that off. No one saw that. Um, yeah, it's quite a bit of glue marks actually around the swish. But really nice. And these actually have a bit of a mark. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Got like a bit of a scuff already on the toe box. Which is slightly annoying. Like I know the material is super soft. But it does kind of feel like every pair of blazers I've bought, apart from one pair this year, have had a few marks on them or haven't been absolutely perfect around the toe box. Yeah, that's actually quite dented. Looks like somebody's drop zone on it. It's proper weird. Oh, well. But super nice. Ah, I lied. I lied, people. There are. Oh. Oh, ho, 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 ho. There are spare laces. And I like these look at these these are sort of brown with with the orange through them i really like those might have to relace with those um because the one thing i hate about blazers when they arrive unlike jordans that don't come laced blazers come laced like crazy look at that that's going to take me like a good half hour to loosen these off to actually get them on my feet but super, super nice blazer. I mean, I'm, I really like them. As I said, I went up half a size because I'm finding some of Nike sizing a bit all over the place at the moment. Depends on, on what sneaker it is. But but I'd rather go up half a size in these in case they are a little bit tight because I know that I'm going to want to wear some chunky socks with these in, for winter. Um, so, yeah. So I know a few of you have said as well in comments that you found a couple of pairs of Nikes a bit tight recently. So... Yeah, who knows what's going on with their sizing. But what do we think of these, guys? Leave us a comment below. Did you manage to pick these up? These, even though they were a general release, well, they were a quick strike, and they were only really available in skate stores, selected skate stores as well. And we were lucky enough to get these on the Nike website. They didn't even drop in a sneakers app. So if you managed to get these, leave us a comment below. Do you like these? What do you think of these? Great winter sneaker or not? Let us know. And uh, if you're new around here and you haven't already done so, don't forget to give us an old subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And also, if you haven't already, come along and join us on Sunday evenings where we stream, talk about sneakers, look at Instagram, look at sneaker news, etc. And that is at 8 o'clock here in the UK, which is about 12 o'clock, uh, 12 o'clock midday on the West Coast, 3 o'clock on the east coast and about 5 a.m and down under and places like that i never know what time is but that's it for me i'm gonna go and put these on and walk the hound because it's getting near walk the hound time so uh go and watch one of our other videos which are probably around about here go on you know you want to